Welcome back to the 79th episode of a close combat, the longest day playthrough with the Germans in the Gan campaign on Elite Difficulty. And once again, we're defending on Sword Beach, and I kind of want to soften up the enemy and take out as much armor as I can, so that next turn we can come in with the mechanized uh, detachment that we have, uh, that just won in Oysterham, to uh, take out whatever the enemy has, uh, and just, yeah, well, deal with the remaining armor that they have available. Either way, we're going to set them up a little bit here. Uh, for some reason, they have a PR team, and they're disorganized, and they can't have something else instead of that, unfortunately. They have one, two, five, six, seven tanks remaining. Okay, well, that's... We'll just put in all those, I guess, and we'll give them a rifle group, and let's see, Doomsday Showman, Firefly, and three stewards. So yeah, that's the remaining armor reserves in this battle group, so if we can take out a substantial amount of these now, then we will be doing pretty nicely when we come in with the mechanized next turn. So, let's just set up for this, 8cm, uh, usual place in here, and hopefully, well there's the same issues that there's always been with these positions for some reason, um, for instance here we struggle to shoot across this uh, this wooden fence uh, but we can reach a few things the 88 here however has its uh, view kind of blocked by uh, a tree which isn't ideal i might actually uh, since this middle road is kind of blocked now i think it might be better to have the 88 on the uh, western pillbox as it has a bit more reach the thing is previously i wanted this thing to be aiming down like this street here but it's completely blocked off by enemy or destroyed enemy tanks so instead i guess we put it here and well let's uh, as last time get some grenadiers in maybe into these buildings uh, put them on ambush in case any tanks come rolling by so the grenadiers in the city and the other units just uh, kind of a little bit further back. I'm actually going to put them on ambush as I don't want them to fire off their stuff uh, too soon. Here. Anything that has a panzer shrek, I'll put in the uh, in the town itself. If I said city, that's a bit of an <laughs> overstatement. But yeah, uh, so we just put the various grenadier teams in, or the MG grenadiers anyway, in. Uh, Defensive positions, like so, and then the, oh, we can't put anything in this building, can't we? It kind of looks like we can, like we can in certain places. I should have maybe had more regular Grenadier teams, and I have two more of them in the reserve, so I should have maybe deployed them, but, all right, this looks okay. Might be able to whoop out the Panzer Shrek. Sorry, the Panzer Faust. I keep saying the wrong thing. Uh, towards any tanks that might be in the area here. Although, better if they don't, to be honest. But let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna command this thing to. Yes, we took out that. And then we get this next. So, Achilles down. Stuart, hopefully down soon. And we're seeing like a third team here. Is that infantry? Yeah, they got some infantry here. Next to a tank or something. And there's an Achilles there. I surrender. Clear out! Okay, we've taken out a Stuart and an Achilles. So we have five tanks remaining in total. Or, well, these are technically tank destroyers. Um, but yeah. So I guess we just uh, remain patient. And let's see, there are two tanks on the beach. Chances are they won't move them in, unfortunately. The more tanks we take out now, the less tanks we have to fight uh, with the mechanized um, regiment that's coming in here next turn. And the less we have to fight next turn, well, the better, honestly. So, yeah, we do have the mortar, so let's see if we can maybe... This is an open-top vehicle. Let's see if we can land a mortar on top of it. Would be nice to get a hit in the open top compartment there. Just blow it away. 
of course it's like playing the lottery and we're <laughs> not really likely to win it so let's see how this goes I'm actually going to switch um, the various infantry teams on defense so they start shooting at anything that they may see. Oh, they're shooting at this guy now. It's a mobilized too, so we did hit with the mortar, just not significantly. I wasn't really expecting them to open fire at this, and I'm not necessarily too happy about them doing so either. If they take the turn fire and die, but it doesn't really matter. Reinforcements come in next time. But this is a pretty strong, like, uh, static defensive battle group type thing. Or beach defense group. So it, we could move this around and, and use it effectively somewhere else to hold the beach or something. So I don't necessarily want to, you know, risk too much with them. I want to keep them combat effective in case... If, for some reason, the third wave actually comes in and lands, which I'm hoping that we win before that time. But, there's no guarantee that we will. Okay, we're out of ammo. Which is fine. What I'm gonna do is move, uh... These guys have surrendered. I'm gonna move these grenadiers into the bunker here. Get a good shot on these guys. Put these guys on the fence. Maybe they will open fire as well. No. But. Yeah, I want to take away these victory locations there. As many as I can this time. Just put as much pressure on the enemy as I possibly can this time around. So that we are in a better position to attack them next time. Because we have to relinquish the ground that we already control. And the enemy will get like a few victory locations for free due to that. And... Uh, yeah, it's not ideal, but it is what it is, so. Well, not sure what the hell is out there with that tank, but, oh well. I think I'll move these guys up to this building. This infantry can see they're moving in, so I just want to go here so they don't take shots from this, and then we're going to sneak them further to La Breche, or whatever it's called. The Breach, I'm assuming, or something. That's probably a wrong assumption to make, but oh well. This being immobilized basically will count it as destroyed next time around, I'm pretty sure. At least considering the position it has been immobilized, that would make sense. Because it's not like uh, they can come and tow that away without taking a lot of fire and such. So. Okay, let's see what we can see from the tree story here. And then move over to the brush and take the victory location there. Then I want some team moving in over there to take that. And oh, that's some fire. Where are the shooting at this? Don't don't shoot at that though. Please don't. Don't draw attention towards yourselves from the Achilles. But we have killed one guy inside the Achilles at least. So that's good. I mean the MG fire can eventually maybe actually take out the entire crew. But I find it unlikely but it is possible. And of course normal AI stuff they're not going to be moving the tanks so. Yep. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm not sure we can sneak up and take this, but what I am thinking we can do is sneak these guys over here so the Achilles can't shoot them and then sneak them to the strong point and take the two Uno Beach Victor location as well. Um, we could sneak a Grenadier team all the way up to this Achilles and sneak them up here something and then use a panzer fast maybe blow it up that would be kind of nice if we can oh there's a steward there as well maybe we can blow up that let's go i'm gonna sneak these guys out into the oh maybe not maybe not maybe i put them in ambush here i 
I do want these guys overlooking the infantry of the main stair for now. Okay, so Stuart here, Stuart there, Sherman there. Four tanks, we've taken out two. We have one that we haven't seen yet. Alright, we might be able to get to Stuart. I'm just gonna sneak these guys in. Got them. God damn it. Okay. Oh, there's a tank right somewhere. Here. And okay. Well, luckily we do have more of these in reserve. Yeah, I guess I just put them in the fan down here. Is it possible that we can shoot where that fire came from? Like here. Uh, no, not really. Hmm, well this is going to be kind of a tedious one, since the enemy doesn't appear to want to do anything. I much prefer when I'm the one um, that can make some moves. Which I just, I can't against tanks and such. I just, <laughs> yeah, I just can. Simply, so. Yep. Okay, maybe I can sneak these guys down here and then up along these tank wrecks to get up on that tank wreck. Honestly, I can probably move in this infantry unit as well. Alright, we don't really need to look at these guys, so they're not going anywhere. If they go anywhere, those MG teams will shoot the shit out of me. We can maybe spot the tank if we don't really have a range to deal with it. Then uh, we can maybe smoke off the area and sneak up that way. Because we've taken out two of the tanks and still the, uh, the morale is pretty high, so... This could take a while if we don't get some more of the tanks down. But if they have three in this area, then that's good. I mean, the infantry is moving, nothing's really happening. Should have maybe fired off mortars at these guys. That could have prompted them to... Uh, sometimes it's like kicking a hornet's nest. You make the move by shooting some mortars at them. Uh, well... It hasn't been super effective to shoot at the Achilles so far, but... Who knows, that could change. I mean, if it wasn't for this tree here, right, uh, we still have this blocking, but uh, it's so stupid, this little tree here, this tiny tree, can't just remove it or anything, right, it's just in the way and annoying. Pretty sure there's a Sherman in the area here. Why it's so freaking camouflaged though, I don't know. But, let's sneak a guy up and see if we can spot it and then get a Panzerfaust on it. I was firing from like right there. Why are we not seeing it? It was right there. It was, it was a gun, like a cannon, shooting out. That was an explosion. Has to have been. That could have been a Stuart, I guess. No, this is Stuart here, and one there. So that would be a Sherman. Where is it now, though? Hmm. Damn it. Very much damn it. Very much damn it. Okay, they're going for cover at least. Alright, well, uh, not so good. Not at all. Shouldn't have done that. Show me Firefly, there you go. 
Sheldon and the Germans. I don't know if we can really sneak these guys up anymore, but um, but uh, can we shoot at the infantry here that we can actually probably kill? Are we just not doing that? Wasting all our MGM on the uh, kill list still? And we got the Piat team moving in here. Oh, that's what that was all the time. Let's just kill it, I guess. If we can. I'm not sure if this guy has that Panzer Shrek on him, but in case he does, let's sneak him into this bush and have him in ambush. Uh. Oh, no, he's dead. Okay, well, there you go. Well, I tried making something happen, it just didn't really work out that well, which is sometimes just how it is. Now I'm kind of regretting sneaking that MG team up. The one guy left in the PF team though. Oh, we got tanks on the move, so we seemingly have prompted the enemy to do something, at least. Um, yeah, I'm hoping we can mess them up good. Oh, he uh, Achilles is now firing back, which is kind of what I hoped it wouldn't be doing. Alright, we're gonna move these guys over here. Don't start shooting before moving though, it's just before moving, they, they open fire. They're like, hey, we're about to make a move, why don't you fucking pay attention to us? Right now, that's a great call, really a great call. Well done, good job. Oh, either way. We'll get them in the building here, I think. Should be finding cover up there, maybe get some shots on these guys, so at the very least spot them. Oh, they moved us to up to okay, let's get the fuck out of range from that thing then. Which we can in the building here, I guess, so. Let's just get them over here, I don't want them to retake Storm Point 2. La Breche, well, they might take that, I guess. It is what it is. Oh, no, 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 Get down on this corner, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Can we get a truce? We can, okay. Well, I'll take it. We could have kept in there, but it's whatever. We took out two tanks at least, and potentially the third one is removed as well, so. Four tanks when we come in here with the mechanized, we can deal with that. That should be fine. Hopefully. Uh, either way, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I would appreciate if you left a like on it, maybe even subscribed if you haven't already. Well, with that being said, as always, you can catch me in the next one. And uh, thank you for watching, and have a good one.